What's up poor people, Rex here with another video. Today I'll be reviewing Guanam MT2217. So this is the 800 kV motor uh, that I got from Hobby King. I'm gonna grab my poor man's knife from dollar store and unbox it. Well the packaging looks pretty good. This is uh, made in China. It looks good, pretty good for a Chinese product. Uh, what we got inside is the motor itself some in screws actually I think you have more than you need the bullet connectors and some heat shrink let's pull this out the motor itself the wire is quite long so you can use as much as you need the mounting options for the prop looks like you got two different kinds of mount and that's all you have in the box so the quality looks pretty good it, it feels solid this thing is not that heavy but just by looking at it and the feel of it this this looks like a very well built product the wire if, if you can see um, the tips are already been thinned so you don't have to thin them yourself unless you're gonna cut it short for some reason but these are basically um, meant to be used on multi-copter so you're gonna need that length of the wire if you want to run it over the arms or inside the arms speaking of the build quality as i mentioned before it feels pretty solid uh, looks like the wiring is done pretty well you can pretty much spin it around and like there is nothing loose in there like i have over the years i have encountered problem with motors that have the wearing done in a bad manner um, the motor feels pretty well balanced and the bearings feels pretty smooth mm, what I, I got actually eight of these <coughs> two of a spare um, for a y6 build that I'm I will be doing uh, in the future um, so these these are rated for from 3 to 5 cells um, and the maximum amp they will be consuming is around um, 16 amps um, so you don't really have to get a really high amp ESC for this uh, and there should not be any problem with overheating um, as far as I know, these are very efficient uh, motors. Um, you can put um, any props from um, 10 inches to 12 inches. Since these are low KV motors, it's better to go with uh, larger props. But keep in mind, uh, if you run these at full speed all the time with a large prop, you might run into some heating issues uh, apart from that this is an excellent motor you can go to hobbyking.com and these motors are pretty cheap very cheap for the quality that you can get um, I got mine for around $15 15 US dollars and what I would say these are the best options you can find for the price so thanks for watching then in the next video I will be showing you how to properly solder uh, the connectors of the motors.
so stay tuned <laughs>